So do you like Lego? Do you like... Well, that's good, because I'm actually really excited about these Marvel sets that are coming out on June 1st, and I thought we'd talk a little bit about them, as well as some sets that I would personally like to see them release with this new Infinity Saga line. That being said, I'd also like to stick to similar sort of sets we're seeing out of this 2021 line, rather than going super unrealistic that I know LEGO just wouldn't make. Granted, these are the sets that I would really love to see, and I hope LEGO do something along these sort of lines for future Infinity War sets. So starting off at number 10, going right back to one of the beginning films of the MCU of Iron Man 2. A film that not everybody loved, but definitely had a few cool scenes, and also introduced characters like War Machine. But one of my favourite scenes throughout most of this film is the first time we see Whiplash, a minifigure which I think would be really really cool to personally get, and actually people have made mocks of this scene already. I think this would be an incredible scene to get in LEGO form, and I also think it would be a really good excuse to get more six wide cars, as I see this set being very similar to the Jaguar set that was released by Speed Champions. Now I'm aware these ones are 8 wide, but you'll save a little bit of piece count, making the cars 6 wide. I also imagine them including 3 minifigures with this set, a Mark V, a Whiplash, and maybe a Happy Hogan. And maybe we'd get lucky and they included a Pepper Potts figure as well. I was also talking to people on my Discord and they said it would be a cool play feature to include the full F1 car and have some sort of play feature where you can split the car in half. I think including the fence as a little side build would also be good, and overall I see this being a really nice sort of £35 set if you can get it at that price point. Moving on, I see a lot of people talking about this one and it's red. Skull's car. I know a lot of people have talked about this one already, so I'm not going to gloss over it for too long, but this one made by Brick Vault is an exceptional example of what I think this car should look like. I also think this car scales really, really well with minifigures, and I wouldn't want to see it done too oversized. I also see this set coming with a small little side build that also includes Captain America and Peggy Carter, and I see this set being around the £15 to £20 mark. Overall, a great looking set, and I actually plan to build the Brick Vault one and do a review on this channel. If you guys want to see that, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Moving on to the next one. Now this is actually a remake of a set which I think everybody would really love to see. Now this is a remake of the Civil War airport scene. Now the reason I would love to see them retry this set is because I would love them to not include the giant man, you'll see why later, and give us more minifigures similar to how we see the new endgame final battle sets, and give us more of an airport. I would love to see more airport and more minifigures. I think everybody can agree that this was one of the best sets that Marvel released back when they were doing very sporadic MCU sets, and and I really think that this one was one of their best ones, and considering the aftermarket value on this set, clearly other people think that as well. I'm not saying I want this to be like a D to C level, but I'd love to see it being a 100 to 120 pound mark, so we actually get something a bit worthwhile, and people can recreate that airport scene and get all of the minifigures they would love to see as part of this set. This would also give us an excuse to get exclusive versions of War Machine and Falcon, as well as giving us a more accurate vision and Scarlet Witch, because we all know that the best Scarlet Witch figure came as part of that set. Moving on to one of the sets that I really believe we need as part of this MCU line is straight out of Spider-Man Homecoming, which would be the school bus fight scene. Now, I imagine we would get three figures in this set, which would be Shocker, Spider-Man, and Flash Thompson. Obviously, the Spider-Man would be in his homemade Spider-Man outfit, which is a figure that we really need to see. So many people have done so many excellent custom versions of this figure, and LEGO need to catch up, as it would be a really good idea to have this as part of this set. Not only that, but as part of this set, I see us getting a classic American school bus, which I know a lot of people have been asking for, especially since we kind of got one from Hidden Side, but it had all those extra gubbins that everybody just sort of took off. I think this set would be a really good excuse to give us an American school bus, and people would probably buy it just for that alone. Now, obviously, I also see Flash Thompson being in this set with that nice car that he has at the end of Homecoming that Spider-Man steals to get across town to try and get to Vulture. I also see having some sort of wall facade to represent the school of him coming out, and maybe if we were lucky, we could have Ned as part of this set as well, next to some sort of computer to represent that scene where he's giving Peter Parker directions. Overall, a set I see being the sort of 60 to 70 pound price range, but with the really cool exclusive figures and hopefully a good designer on board to make that school bus a price I see being worth it, and truly give Spider-Man Homecoming the representation that I wish it had back when the film came out. Moving on, I would also like to see a small set from Black Panther. Now, I wish this had been the set rather than the new Dragonfly set, as I feel it would have been way nicer to get rather than this Dragonfly, and that's actually the Fight for the King scene, where we get to see all of these people come together to watch this fight. 
weight. Now I see this set being very similar to the Room of Requirement set, being around £18 and including new and exclusive figs like T'Challa and Killmonger, but exclusive versions to take out straight of that scene where they both have their shirts off. I also see this set giving us characters like Akoye, and I hope I didn't butcher that name. I also see them including another figure, but I don't fully know which one that would be, so I'll leave that up to the comment section. What other figure would you like to see as part of this set? Now moving on to Guardians 1 and 2, some of the best films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in my opinion. Lego did an absolutely killer job at the new Benatar set, so I'd love to see them remake the Milano ship from Guardians 1 and 2 in a similar style. I know arguably pointless as we have the newer ship, but they've remade an X-Wing seven times. I'm sure it won't hurt to remake this one for a third and give us one that we truly can appreciate like this UCS styled one we're getting in 2021. Overall a set I would greatly appreciate as I actually think the Milano is better looking than the Benatar. Still that Benatar set looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to get this one June 1st. It would also be a great set to include the original five Guardians of the Galaxy in their original outfits and give us some CMF grade figures. I'm talking original Peter Quill with that really really nice head molded piece that he has in some of his original Guardian sets. I would really like a new mold for Groot, making him a more accurate version to the size he should be in the Guardians film because the teenage Groot is a good sized figure but the original big fig version of Groot is way too tall in my opinion. And hear me out here, I would also like to see a baby version of Rocket. No, not an actual baby version of Rocket, but a baby mold that we see for characters like Baby Yoda. I would love to see them make a raccoon head and see if that actually works in terms of whether that figure actually looks like the character from the film. As then the Rocket figure would actually be very well sized compared to a minifigure. And I love the Rocket figures that we get in other sets, but I'd love to see something unique for this specific one. And then I'd love to see Gamora back in her original Guardians 1 outfit as well as Drax considering we haven't had him since that 2017 set. I imagine this set probably being around the sort of 150 to 200 pounds mark, so it's a very, very big set, but one I think any Guardians fan would treat as well as Star Wars fans treat the Millennium Falcon. Now moving on to a slightly cheaper set. Now this set would be called The Creation of Stormbreaker and it would include Peter Dinklage's character as a buildable big fig, similar to how we see Gwarp done in the Harry Potter sets. And it would also include Rocket and Thor as well. You'd have some form of play feature where you'd be able to create Stormbreaker out of a mold and also have a grayed out version of the Infinity Gauntlet. Overall, I see this set being about £35 and also it being a great way of getting Thor and Rocket, a little small set with some amazing play features. Now moving on to something I would see sort of slap bang in the middle of the wave, similar to how we see the 18 plus Gauntlet, and that is the proof Tony Stark has a heart set. And this is honestly a set I'm surprised we haven't already seen. This was a massive part of Iron Man 1 and 2, not to mention it is left on his body as he goes and drifts away into the lake when he dies. Honestly, this is the next viable step, in my opinion, to creating some form of buildable memorabilia from the Marvel films. And it wouldn't surprise me if we see a 40 to 50 pound buildable arc reactor on the horizon very, very soon. Now, moving on to number two. Now, this is honestly one of my favorite sets on this list. And this is actually the other half of the Avengers fight that we haven't seen yet. Yes, we've got the slightly more interesting half with the Avengers compound, Thanos, Iron Man, Captain America, but we're missing loads of characters from this scene. Characters like Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, Captain Marvel, another way to get the Iron Spider. So I imagine another set being introduced for I'm hoping the £120 price mark. Now this would include a very very small add-on to the Avengers compound because most of the build would actually go into building Giant Man. Yeah that's right I imagine the Giant Man figure being buildable very similar to the ones we've seen Harry Potter introduce and mocks have actually been already made of this using those Harry Potter instructions and even I had a go at building a Giant Man figure before these were even released and yes it's bigger than those so I wouldn't expect it to be this big, but even this huge one is only going to cost me 150 quid on Bricklink, so I imagine them doing a Harry Potter sized one would probably only be the 70 quid mark, plus the little extra bit of Avengers compound for another 30 quid, and then all of the figures I imagine being another 20, around £120 for the set, and would be a great addition and second set to go with this wave that we're already getting this year. Now just a few honourable mentions before we get into number one, and some of these come straight from the Discord, if you haven't joined the Discord yet go and join, the link will be below. One of them said a micro Asgard, now I personally don't really like Asgard that much, hence why I haven't put it on this list, but a micro or architecture style of Asgard would actually be really quite cool and I'd love to see Marvel go into the architecture line. I'd also love to see a few more art sets, obviously 
we only have the Iron Man one at the moment, but I'd love to see a Spider-Man one as well as a Thor one, and not just a small one by one, I'd like to see the Mega ones as well. People on there also saying they would love to see a Mark 1 cave set, now for obvious reasons they're not going to make this from LEGO, but I would love to see some form of transforming Iron Man set similar to how we see the Darth Vader transformation set, and include some minifigures we haven't seen before, maybe not focus on the obvious side of why you can't build this set, but maybe just the cave itself. But if I'm honest I don't know if LEGO would ever actually touch this kind of set again. And though not in the MCU currently, I would also love to see another Deadpool set. Now I mentioned this in my Daily Bugle set video, but I'd love to see an updated version of Deadpool to make it look like his movie counterpart. Mini Superheroes Today has already done this and it looks amazing. And I'd love to see an official version of something like this come in the future. Now I know it's an R-rated film and LEGO are likely not to touch it, but some form of hidden reference in there that means we can have an updated Deadpool figure would be amazing, considering Deadpool 3 is now technically canon to the MCU. And finally, a set I would love to see the most out of any of these sets is a D2C style Stark Tower. Now I imagine this would be very similar to the Daily Bugle set that's just released, and though I'm not one for building big Lego buildings, this set would also be good to include some sort of Quinjet, and not mentioning any of the really cool minifigures that could come with this set, similar to ones we've seen in the past, but I'd just love to see updates to all of them. I also think it would be a really cool idea if we had interchangeable nameplates on the building, so in the instructions you could either build the Stark Tower, the Avengers Tower, or whatever the Avengers Tower is going to turn into in the future movies coming up very soon. Not very difficult, just make an interchangeable plate or something like that. Overall a set that I would love to see LEGO produce and hopefully we actually do get one considering in the designer interview when they were asked about a Stark Tower, the answer to the question was if people buy the Daily Bugle one we're more likely to see things like a Stark Tower come down the line. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with this list? Do you think LEGO should be making these Marvel sets? Let me know in the comment section below, just letting you guys know the website has had a complete overhaul lately so if you're interested in buying any sort of mocks that I have made, go and check out the website that is linked down below. Also join the Discord if you want to continue this conversation with me over there. Thank you to all of the members that make these types of videos possible. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys, and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.